In this video, I want to show you how you can create a simple expenses tracker using Google Sheets and Power BI. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can build your own for yourself. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So I've recently come back from my holiday trip to Thailand, and while we were on that trip, I wanted a quick and easy way to track my expenses so we can have a better grasp of how much we were spending on a day-to-day -day basis. I found myself using Google Sheets to track our spendings, but I thought maybe you can use Power BI along with Google Sheets to quickly visualize our spendings. So today I'm going to try and show you how I did that. So the first thing that I did was to create a Google Sheet file, which is what I'll use for data entry. So this sheet is something that I kept with me on my mobile phone and I updated on a day-to-day -day basis. And the idea is that you want to keep this as simple as possible. Just because I found that logging expenses during a trip can get quite tedious, especially if your system is too complicated. So we'll keep it simple for now. At the moment we have let's say, just the date of when the expense was made, the type of expense it is, and the amount. The amount spent here can be logged in local currency. In my case, it was in Thai baht just because on the trip it's easier to log the amount that you spend when you're there. But don't worry, we'll have a look at how you can convert this into your home currency in the dashboard. So here I've added some dummy entries so we have something to visualize in our dashboard for now. But once you're happy with your sheet, you can simply open up a Power BI report from here, hit get data and click more. So now there is a native connector for Google Sheets. So we can simply type Google Sheets, which will bring up the connector. If you hit connect, it will ask you for a URL. So in this case, it's, it's pretty easy. We'll simply copy the URL of our sheets and hit paste. If you've never done this before, it will ask you to sign in to your Google Sheets. It's just to make sure that it can authenticate who you are. So now it's authenticated like this. We can simply hit connect and you will see that you will have access to your Google Sheets. So we'll load this uh, sheet that we have here. We'll hit transform just to modify and clean this up slightly. So we'll use first row as headers and also convert these into the right data types. Name this expenses. And that's pretty much the data set ready to go. So we'll just let it load for a second. And now we're ready to create our visuals. So from here, I actually forgot I wanted to add a different amount here, which just converts the amount that we've logged into our home currency. Now I know that the current exchange rate is for every pound is 40 Thai baht. So I'm going to use that as my reference to convert all of the expenses that we've made. So I'm going to start and create a new measure here. I'm going to write amount, name it amount in pounds, and we're going to divide the value that we have to 40. Miss that one forty like this. We'll change the data type now to show us British pounds with no decimals. So now we're pretty much ready to visualize our expenses here. So we'll keep it simple. I'm gonna start by creating a few cards here. So we'll show the amount in bot. So 
actually I'll name it total spend and this one will show another card showing the total spend in pounds like this and we want to maybe see the total spend by expense type so I'm going to use a pie chart here and it's important to think about what visual you want to use for this so at the moment I kept the expenses type very standard so there's not so many categories here but if you're thinking of using more categories to split your expenses types by I recommend that you think about using other visuals like bar charts or area charts instead of a pie chart to visualize your total spend by expense type. Another one that might be useful is to show the spend by date. So how much we are spending on a day-to-day -day basis. This was pretty important for us like this. And finally, I might want to have a bit more detail about the actual day-to-day -day spends. So we want to split this further by expense type so we can see how much we're spending per expense type per day. So there we go. This dashboard now gives you a better summary of your daily expenses. What's great about this setup is that you're already connected to your Google Sheets. So as you add more entries in it during the day, refreshing the reports will simply update the visuals and your totals for you. You can set the dashboard to refresh every few hours or so, so you don't have to think about updating it. And since we are keeping it simple, there's not much that we are visualizing here because there's only three columns, but you can think about building on top of this if you want to analyze it further. So you can add more fields like, let's say location, or even against the daily budget so that it can help you analyze your expenses even further. And if you want to get really fancy, you can create a mobile version of your report right here, which is actually really simple to do. And it allows you to keep track of your expenses on your mobile phone as well when you're on the go. So from here, we'll simply go to view and go mobile layout. This will give you this view that allows you to kind of customize your, your mobile version. So we'll dr drag a few things here, like total spend and in our local currency, maybe we want to show also our spend splits and our day-to-day -day expenses, something like this. There we go, pretty easy. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is for you to create your very own expenses tracker when you go on holiday using Google Sheets and Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.